Mickey Mouse Club scans the globe, looking for kids who do really cool stuff and presents them with the club's top honor, the Mickey Award. Today's first Hall of Fame honoree has already performed with some of the world's leading orchestras. She's 12-year-old Leela Josephowit, and her instrument is violin. We caught up with Leela at her home in Westlake Village, California, on the day of a big performance. Watch. By the time most kids are just getting up for school, Leela Josephowitz has already put in several hours of rehearsal. She began playing the violin when she was three. At eight, she was performing in public. Today, at age 12, she balances school, friends, rehearsals, violin classes, and performance while still trying to live the normal life of a teenager. Rehearsals are fun, you know. Shouldn't be work. On weekends, I usually practice about four to four and a half hours. On weekdays, I usually get in about four. I don't have that much time to go, like, fool around and stuff. But when I do, I usually have pretty good time. When I play teddy ball or boxing gloves and stuff, or at school in PE, whether you play like football or um, volleyball, if I twist a finger back or whatever, then it'll be like really bad because I can't practice. Hey, Bibi, do you have to go to school today? No. Gosh, you're lucky. Leela's younger brother, Stephen, knows that the reason his older sister is playing hooky today from school is because she's performing tonight in a concert. And your whole tempo seems a little bit on the slow side, huh? The only kind of playing she'll be doing today is rehearsing on her 250-year-old violin. Plus, she'll be meeting with her violin teacher, Robert Lipset, to prepare for tonight's performance. Now, Lila's many hours of rehearsal will be rewarded as she performs at a benefit for the Young Musicians Foundation. And just before she goes on, she can be found backstage doing what she's always doing, rehearsing. I know there's going to be a concert, and I want to be really good. Yeah. You just feel nervous, but you just know that like you work hard, and you can't just fall apart. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome to a Hall of Fame. Our next Hall of Fame honoree calls himself the Court Jester of Magic. He performs at fairs, festivals, and special occasions like this. So here's 13 year old magician John Gominiak. <laughs> welcome, everyone. My name is John Gominiak, and I was invited here to share with you the mystery and the wonder of my magic. No. Now, every magician needs a big opener to start their show, and I'm no exception. I have one right, right here. This is my big opener. <laughs> but I know what you're all waiting for. You probably want me to take something like a handkerchief, show it on both sides, take it, open it up, fold it up, and produce a bird. I can do that. Okay. Let's put them in here. There we go. Sit right in there. There. Now, here, Josh and Kevin, can I get your help? Could you make a, a, a your hand the shape of a gun, just like that? And on the contrary, I want you to aim at this balloon and say bang as loud as you can. Okay, you ready? And the count of three. Ready? One. Put it on here so we get it better. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
two, and three, go. Bang. And now, the one you've all been waiting for. It's my last one. <laughs> now, let's see. Everybody get your fingers moving like this. Everybody do. And anybody know any magic words? <laughs> Have a banana. What you say? Oh, Abra, Abra. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show. Well, then I know that some of your tricks require a little help. Is there any tricks that Tiffany and I can assist you with? Oh, yeah, I have one right here, Josh, if you don't mind stepping over here. Here, Josh, would you take this end of the rope? Tiffany, take this end. And tug on it. Make sure it's a strong rope. Tug on it real hard. Is that a strong rope? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a strong rope? Very strong yeah. rope. First time you had two suckers on one line. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll make the rope into three equal pieces, just like this. I'll cut the top and the bottom to make three equal pieces. There we go. All right, here we have one, there's two, and there's three. Tiffany, place your hands in shape of a cup, just like this. Yeah. I'll put these in your hands just like you had a handful of spaghetti. You ever have a handful of spaghetti? Uh-uh. <laughs> That's good. Here, Josh, walk over and pull one rope out of Tiffany's hands there. Whoa, okay. Step back over here. And now, Tiffany, take one rope out of your own hand. Give it to me. There we go. Here. Um, no dessert for you tonight, Tiffany. <laughs> That's okay. I remember an old magic spell that'll bring these ropes back to their original size. I'll take the short piece, bring it up, make it even. The medium. See, the medium and the very long one out of three oh. different sizes. Everybody get your fingers moving like this. And I count up and say the magic words, Abracadabra. Ready? One, two, three. Abra. Abra. for being here today. Um, maybe later you'll tell us how that trick works. So right now, we'd like to welcome you into our Hall of Fame by presenting you with the Snooky Award. So congratulations, Thank John. Thank you. If you or someone you know does something special, let us know. Write to Hall of Fame, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, PO Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And be sure to include your name, address, and phone number.